Sesame, say hi. You want to introduce the video, Sus? <laughs> Use a know-how. Hi you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you through a what I eat in a day video with Sus here and showing you guys everything that I will be eating, obviously, as a five foot one petite woman. And um, I'm gonna show you all my meals, I'm gonna cook with you, I'm also gonna show you what I'm drinking and um, give you some meal inspiration. Um, so if you like this idea, you like this type of video, please give it a like. And um, if you wanna see more of what I eat in a day, is definitely give it a like so I know you like it and you wanna see more of it. And also subscribe for more content tailored to petite women. Everything I make is for the petite female community, the petite crowd. And um, without further ado, I'm gonna jump into it and uh, take you through all my meals. Okay, so the first meal I'm having of the day, I just got back from the gym. I personally don't like to train on a full stomach most mornings, like most I wake up and I just go to the gym first thing, no caffeine, no food, and I train. And that's because my dinners, I usually still feel pretty full from my dinners. So my first meal of the day is post training. I did legs and then I did 30 minute incline walking on the treadmill just to get my steps up for the day. And while I was on the treadmill, I tried to like just do things like I did some work, I read some articles on Substack, just like to take up the time. That's a really good hack. Okay, so my first meal is going to be oatmeal. I find that oatmeal is a fantastic breakfast because you can put protein powder in it and get your protein, but you also get your fiber and you can add fats easily through nuts, seeds, and nut butters. So here are the four ingredients. I'm using Trader Joe's ancient grains it has chia seeds in it and some other things which help get the fiber up which is great and i'm just using my scale here to weigh out how much i want so first thing to make my protein oats you make the oats i just make it with water in the microwave while that's going i'm gonna make the peanut butter so you can use real peanut butter but i personally like to get my fats from like salmon nuts um avocado and so I peanut butter can add up really fast. It's like one tablespoon can be like 12 grams of fat. I eat about 40 to 45 grams of fat in a day. So I like to use powdered peanut butter. Justin, or no, not Justin, Peanut Butter & Co. makes this one. It's vanilla flavored and it's just powdered peanut butter. So essentially they take all the oil out of it and um, you mix it with water and it tastes pretty much the same. Like it tastes freaking amazing to me. And so this is the hack that I use to have peanut butter, but not have all of the fats with it, which I want to get from other places. If you want to get your fats this way, that's fine. It might depend how you like to plan out your meals for the day. So I just poured a little water in there. And as you can see, I'm just going to mix it until it becomes creamy like peanut butter. And I'll show you, it gets the same consistency. There we go. It's the same consistency as peanut butter, pretty much. Okay, the oats are ready. So I'm gonna add the protein. I'm using Women's Best Fit Whey Protein in vanilla. I like their cookies and cream the best, but they ran out. So I'm just using vanilla, which I like a lot as well. I like all their flavors. I've never tried a Women's Best Protein, like Fit Whey Protein that didn't taste incredible. And then I'm just gonna do that. So sometimes when I'm mixing the protein into the oats, I add a little bit of almond milk just because it sometimes needs it. it. Depends how much water I added to the oats originally. I'm gonna add a little bit. And I'm also, for this breakfast, I also have my caffeine after I work out. There's a lot of research that shows that if you can delay caffeine for an hour and a half after waking, you're like, I'm, not, I'm gonna mess this up, but like your serotonin and your like good happy feely brain chemicals um, actually do better. Like they, you get a better, you get a more steady like hit of them versus if you just wake up and do the things that you immediately like feel good, like you give in and you just, I mean, it's not wrong. You can have caffeine before your workout cause it's a great pre-workout, but I've found for my own like feel good, feeling good, I do best when I delay caffeine. And yes, I am going to lick this off my finger because I don't wanna leave any peanut butter in the bottom of the bowl, you know? Okay, so, so far we have the oats and the peanut butter. I am gonna add some other things, just like some um, salt. I do, uh, okay. 
I highly recommend adding salt, like salting your food, especially if you eat like mostly if you eat like all unprocessed whole sources of foods, your food does really need salt. So I like to use pink Himalayan salt because it has the most minerals in it, vitamin, well minerals, versus like an iodized table salt, which has absolutely no other, it doesn't have anything, it doesn't have anything else in it. So this is what the oatmeal looks like. Meal number one, it doesn't look that appetizing, but it's gonna be so filling and it's gonna taste so good and it has, my protein, my fats, and my fiber. I'm also making my infamous matcha, pistachio, pistachio matcha latte. I use Tash pistachio milk. Um, it's just like what I like to, it's like a treat. Um, this milk is really expensive, so it's kind of annoying. I just have it for my first matcha of the day, you know? And we have regular old matcha, I mean uh, almond milk in my like afternoon matchas. Basically I'm heating water now and I use this Nespresso. It's the, I'll link it in my Amazon page below, but it's a milk frother. So I put the pistachio milk in there. And I also have this entire like step-by-step -step guide on my Instagram on how I make pistachio matcha if you like care to have it saved somewhere, but I'm also showing you now. I also use Jade Matcha and I wanna let you guys know, I, I've been a, um, a partner with them for many years and they just gave me a new code. It's April 25. It's not the small X10 anymore. It's April 25, you can get 25% off Jade and um, I'll leave a link for that too. And then this is one of my biggest hacks ever. Not this, this is stevia. Pretend this is monk fruit drops. Um, Whole Foods was out, but I buy monk fruit drops from Whole Foods and that's how I sweeten anything. Like you can sweeten anything and it's an all natural sweetener. It doesn't taste like crap like stevia. It tastes really good and it's very, it just like gets my sweet tooth. Like you can put it in yogurt. You could put it in your oatmeal if you want. You could put it in um, smoothies or your matcha, which is what I would rather use, use than sugar and it is Fantastic. I also just like to get in the habit of like cleaning stuff like as I go so that there's not like a big pile up. I don't have a dishwasher. I'm in like, you guys know I'm in my Brooklyn apartment and we just, we don't have that luxury. So um, I'm taking the matcha and I am uh, whisking it with a bamboo whisk until it looks nice and frothy like so. And then I'm gonna pour it in. Bon appetit. So good. So I'm on to my second meal of the day. My timing is a little weird today because I had a meeting that went kind of over. Um, this would be what I would call like early lunch or second breakfast, which I only started doing. It's kind of a, it's kind of like an inside joke with myself. I don't know if, if you guys have things like that, but when I got Sesame, my cat, um, he is a very hungry boy and he eats, I start, he eats second breakfast. That's what I call it. I'm like time for second breakfast sesame and I feed him for the second time in the morning, same morning. And like, I guess we kind of become our pets. I sort of just eat a second breakfast too now, like depending on the timing of the day. It's now 2.30 PM. So this is absolutely not breakfast, but I am eating it anyways. Cause it's my favorite, probably my favorite meal of the day. I'm making an egg, egg an avocado toast situation. Um, so here's the sitch right here, all the ingredients. Um, I'm gonna weigh out my egg whites first. This has just always been a classic for me um, because it's it just has the right textures and macros and breakfast is my favorite meal of the day anyways. So um, I love it. And um, obviously I do work from home most days. Um, and so I'm able to cook in the middle of the day I don't wanna spend a ton of time cooking, so I try to prep things ahead, but this one I'm obviously cooking in the middle of the day. Okay, so first things first, I've weighed out my egg whites, which just, egg whites are just protein only, so it helps you get your protein up. And I use, um, my sister got me a caraway pan for Christmas and I absolutely love it, it's fantastic. I use um, extra virgin olive oil, the spray. The spray has zero calories, so it's because it's literally just a second spray. It's great for, um, you know, you don't want to free pour olive oil. It's just a lot of fats. It's healthy fats, but um, it's really easy to overdo it. And olive oil isn't going to help you stay super full because there's no fiber in it. 
Um, so I pour the, the egg whites in and then I put one egg in on its own, one large egg. And this egg is so that I can get the healthy fats from the yolk. If you wanna get the perfect egg yolk, I find you need to cover the egg while it's cooking so that it cooks all the egg whites and then the egg yolk stays like liquidy. Um, and I'm also gonna put a piece, oops, a piece of Dave's Killer Bread, this is my favorite bread, in the toaster. This bread is high in fiber, it has lots of good stuff, high in protein. Another key to cooking the best eggs is making sure that you cook it first on high heat and then once a lot of it has cooked through, you bring it back down to low heat. That helps a lot. So cook your eggs on high heat and then low heat. And I'm also just gonna get this avocado going. I like to use like a fourth of avocado um, with my meals. Avocado is a really great healthy fat, high, high fiber fat, and you don't need a lot of it to go like a long way. So about a half of a half, a fourth, is usually what I do. And in terms of seasonings, I like to go classic salt and pepper always on the eggs. I like to be generous. And then because I like things spicy, I top it with crushed red pepper flakes. I just like it like that. And also I'm obsessed with salsa verde right now. If you guys watched my Mexico vlog, I, I have a lot of friends in Mexico and we go back a lot now. And um, the salsa verde down there is just really good. And I, I just, I have to have it with my eggs now. I cannot like, I'm mashing the avocado. I cannot like go. I cannot have my eggs without it. It's so good. I like to put a little salt there. And then I do have these leftover salsas from ordering Mexican on Saturday night. So I am just going to probably put them on top of the eggs because they're so delicious. They're my favorite salsas ever. The egg is looking good. Look, it's all perfect. I love it. And I like to make an omelet. So I just like to fold this over so it makes an omelet and then drop it on the plate. And now to top it, I'm gonna go ahead and put this salsa and this salsa and this salsa and all the salsas. I'm, I'm a bit of a salsa junkie. It's just such a nice like low calorie way to f add flavor. And here we have it, egg, white omelet also one egg avocado toast with like all of the salsas loaded so i um also wanted to note that i try to drink a lot of water throughout the day um it really helps with satiate like satiation hunger levels just if you're hydrated you're not craving food as much excuse me i literally i literally mainlined that that omelet, <laughs> I mainlined it. So um, yeah, I try to have, this is a liter. This is my um, hydro flask. And I try to have, you know, you ask, if you're in petite power and you're watching this, we say you should aim for about three liters a day. That's what I aim for, but you guys, I'm like you. It's hard some days, sometimes I just don't reach that standard. I would say I consistently get two right now. There was a period of my life where I was like having four a day. Um, but right now I'm around two, trying to hit that three liter mark. Um, I've had one today, so I have some work to do. It is about 3.30 and I usually have my second match of the day around this time, or I have an espresso, which I'm not sure if I shared that with you guys yet, that I started, I don't drink coffee, I still don't drink coffee, but I do sometimes drink espresso, like maybe twice a week. If I drink coffee or, I don't drink coffee, it's too acidic for my stomach, but if I drink espresso like too often, I start to get those symptoms I used to get. So um, for now, I'm just, I've just been, this is just a little espresso can. Um, I don't really like this brand, but whatever, it's gonna work. Um, I like to just have a little bit over ice with some frothed almond milk. I really like using these giant ice cubes. They're just so satisfying, you know? 
Do I even lift you guys? <laughs> Do I even lift weights? Okay. Every time. Put it in this glass and um, the milk is frothing in the Nespresso. Um, and I just do a little froth milk and espresso. Okay, so I like to pour in the espresso first and then the milk. Cheers. All right, it is about 5.30. I'm about to make, this was supposed to be like my lunch meal, but because today's gotten like so pushed back, it's kind of like an early dinner. I'm hungry, so I'm kind of just eat when I'm hungry. Um, so I'm making um, a really easy, simple, delicious dinner. I'm really excited about it. It's just gonna be um, chicken breasts that I'm gonna cut into small strips, sweet potato, broccoli, sauteed spinach, onions, and let me check my macros. I do log this all in the My Macros app. That's what I use. Yeah, that's it. It's gonna be a really simple meal, just like great lean protein, fiber, vegetables, um, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna get started cooking that. I'd just like to point out that Sesame likes to watch me cook. <laughs> He's gonna be up there the whole time while we cook. Um, and I'm gonna take my rings off so they don't get gross with the chicken. So what I did, what I what I really like to do, um, I don't even know why I'm talking like that. I when I have the time, it's not all the time, but um, I cut out cut up all my veggies last night, Sunday, yesterday, and so that I would just have them ready to go because I thought I'd be making this as lunch. What I did not do because I wanted to keep it fresh was cut the chicken. So I'm going to cut the chicken up into little pieces, um, not little pieces, kind of just like strips, um, and season it. And then all, all I'll need to do after that is like throw everything into a pan essentially and cook it. Um, so it'll be really easy. So the way that this cooks the fastest is just by um, having the chickens. So like cutting them thinner essentially. Cutting them like not in half, you know what I mean? Like length, lengthwise, widthwise. So you make them like thinner cutlets essentially. Otherwise you, it's hard to cook the chicken it's just gonna like burn on the outside and not cook through all the way on the inside if you're cooking it on the stove top, which is how I'm gonna cook it. I would also like to say like the level of cooking that I <laughs> practice is like very, very basic. And if you're not confident in the kitchen, you, you don't have to be <laughs> to eat this way. I mean, most of what I eat is like barely cooking, I'd like to say. It's like six ingredients or less. That's how all of our recipes are in Petite Power. You can like, you know, you can actually see a lot of our recipes on our Instagram. Um, but yeah, it's also basic. It's all like meant to be not intimidating cooking because when I first got into fitness, I felt like I needed to like be some kind of master chef. And I had to like figure out how to make my food taste really amazing or else I wouldn't eat it. And it's just really not like that. Like you can make food taste incredible just from like, really simple seasoning and um really fresh ingredients you know you don't need to be a, a pro chef so i've just seasoned the chicken i seasoned it with um a peruvian thing it was just like garlic salt cumin pepper um oregano pepper paprika um salt and pepper is really all you need to be honest if you just like want to keep it simple but I just have a lot of spices in my drawer that I like to use and try different ones. I also added some oil to the pan. I had to put sesame in the bathroom because this was smelling way too good to him and he was just getting too excited. All right, I'm gonna let this cook a little bit and then once it's cooked, I'm gonna add the onions in, get the onions in there to bring out some of the flavors. It's smelling so good already. I think I'm gonna toss the onions in there actually, actually now. Yeah. So here I have some pre-chopped onions. Oh, I probably should have cut these more. Well, too late. Too late. We don't have time for that. I'm also gonna add more onions later. So this is just 
for this dish, we're gonna clear these out and you know, cook the broccoli and the sweet potatoes and stuff. So let's get that started. Still just waiting for this to cook. <laughs> I'm literally eating a banana right now. Not everything I eat do I track in my macros. I also can kind of estimate like, I was supposed to have salmon for dinner tonight in addition to this, like this was supposed to be lunch. Um, but I think I'm gonna have a, smooth, a smoothie instead. So I can just kind of estimate like, put a little bit less fruit in my smoothie later because I'm kind of having a banana right now. I'm just hungry, you know? But I don't want to spoil my appetite, so I'm waiting. So I've cooked all the chicken and onions there and I moved on to the sweet potatoes. I sliced them very thin so that they will saute quickly. Left the skin on and I'm also putting the broccoli in here. And I just sprayed these with some olive oil, some salt and pepper, and I'm gonna uh, close this and let it cook for a bit. This is looking and smelling incredible. Okay, last step is to cook the spinach and a uh, half a cup of spinach, like this is a great way to cook it. It's like a lot of food, but when you put it in the pan, I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on it, and you cook it, it gets so small and like shriveled up. It's like you can have a lot of spinach. It's easier to eat because it's been like shrunken down. All right, so dinner is ready. Um, I already, while I was waiting for the second batch of cook it chicken to finish cooking, I kind of ate like three pieces of chicken. So my serving size here is smaller, but this is what I'm having. Here we have this uh, chicken, onions, sweet potato, broccoli, and spinach. Yum, it doesn't look like much, but let me tell you, it tastes literally so good because I already tried the chicken and it's so good. And I tried the sweet potato and I tried the onion and you know, the veggies will be fine. <laughs> I'm having a little LaCroix. So good, so healthy, tastes amazing. Almost tastes restaurant quality, so easy to make. It is now 7.41. I just got back from a walk around Williamsburg and I'm gonna make my last meal, uh, which was supposed to be salmon, but like I'm not really craving that. So I'm making a quick swap in my app to my nice cream recipe or like my, um, it's like a smoothie, but I like to make it thicker consistency so I can eat it with a spoon and it tastes more like ice cream. I'm like sweating from that walk. I don't think that's normal. Okay, so um, I just honestly put whatever frozen fruit you want. I have some peaches here, frozen peaches, and I might do raspberries and spinach. I don't know how that's gonna taste. I had banana earlier, if you guys recall. So I would have done banana and raspberries or banana blueberries, but I ate all my banana. So I'm gonna put in like, no, just a little bit of peaches and raspberries, I think. Very vanilla protein, that'll go good. Just a little bit. And then the spinach I don't really taste, but it helps a lot with like making it super thick and like ice creamy. You can also use frozen or regular cauliflower to make your shakes a bit chunkier if you like it like that. Not chunky, that's like a disgusting word. Like, like creamier consistency, more like ice cream like. And also ice cubes go a really long way. You need ice cubes if you're not using frozen fruit. It has to be frozen. Um, let's see a little bit more. I'm also gonna put in some um, vanilla Greek yogurt. And it also adds a little bit of vanilla flavor and also it adds some more protein. And now some of this. This is the same woman's best vanilla protein, fit way, almond milk, and we will blend it up. You only wanna do a little almond milk if you wanna get that thick consistency. And here it is, I topped it off with some almonds. I also like to top it off with um, cacao nibs or chocolate sometimes. Tonight it was feeling more like, I guess savory. Time for the taste test. 
Mmm. Ooh, you can really taste the raspberries. Mmm, it's good. It tastes like ice cream. The consistency. I do wish I had a magic bullet so that it could make things chop it finer, but this is really good. Well, you guys, that brings us to the end of the day. This is the last meal I'll have today. I'm actually not even that hungry. I'm just eating it because I need the calories and um, I think I don't wanna you know, wake up in the morning and then go train on and feel really depleted. So I'm just you know, getting my calories in. I hope you guys liked this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what questions you have about macros or portions for petite women or anything, requests, recipes, if you want to see more what I eat in a day or how I do certain things, let me know. Um, and remember to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this. And I did also want to share with you guys some launch updates. So I'm really excited to share with you guys that the launch of basically, in case you're new here, we are relaunching the whole company look and feel website. We have a new product coming out. We have like a whole new vibe. Um, we have the launch date now and it's going to be next week so keep your eyes out on our socials keep it out on um email and just be ready because it is coming it is finally here and i cannot wait for you to see it all right you guys i'm gonna sign off now and enjoy this have an amazing rest of your night and i will see you next week bye